Here are the formulae you will use when working with double angles. We will get into more detail of how and when to use each formulae as the lesson progresses. The formulae for double angles follow from compound angle expansions. Please make sure you understand compound angles before doing this lesson. From previous work on special angles, you will recall that cos 60 degrees is equal to a half, but cos 60 degrees can also be written as cos, in brackets, 30 degrees plus 30 degrees, and using compound angles, we get this is equal to cos 30 degrees times cos 30 degrees minus sine 30 degrees times sine 30 degrees. Using special angles, the equation simplifies to square root 3 over 2 times square root 3 over 2 minus a half times a half, which gives us 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4, which equals a half, confirming the result shown earlier. We can generalize this finding and others by working with variables instead. Let's see what happens when we expand sine 2 theta. 2 theta can be written as theta plus theta. So sine 2 theta is equal to sine in brackets theta plus theta. This equals sine theta times cos theta plus cos theta times sine theta, which is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. Therefore, sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta. Cos theta is the double angle expansion for sine 2 theta. This double angle expansion is true for sine only. Similarly, we can find the cosine expansion of a double angle. Cos 2 theta equals cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. This result can be modified by using the square identity you learnt in grade 11. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. From this identity, we can write sine squared theta as 1 minus cos squared theta and cos squared theta as 1 minus sine squared theta. It is then possible to express in terms of sine or cos only. Hence, cos 2 theta can be written equivalently as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, or 2 cos squared theta minus 1, or 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. It will only become clearer to you, after practicing many examples, which form of the expression is more useful and why, based on the specifics of each individual question. Example 1. Using double angle formulae to evaluate expressions. Evaluate 2 sine 15 degrees times cos 15 degrees. Using the double angle expansion for sine 2 theta with theta equal to 15 degrees, we see that 2 sine 15 degrees times cos 15 degrees is equal to sine 2 times in brackets 15 degrees. This is equal to sine 30 degrees, and from special angles, sine 30 degrees is equal to a half. Example 2. Using double angle formulae with half angles. Evaluate 2 cos squared 22,5 degrees minus 1. Recognize that the given is in the form 2 cos squared theta minus 1 which is the result of expanding cos 2 theta, where theta is equal to 22,5 degrees. Hence, we can write 2 cos squared 22,5 degrees minus 1 as cos 2 times 22,5 degrees. 22,5 degrees times 2 is 45 degrees. So we get cos 45 degrees, which is equal to square root 2 over 2, using special angles. Example 3. Simplifying using double angle formulae. Express sine 3x in terms of a single trig ratio of angle x. We need to rewrite the angle 3x 
as the sum of two angles so that we can use compound angles and simplify further. Sine brackets 2x plus x is equal to sine 2x times cos x plus cos 2x times sine x. Sine 2x can be further expanded using double angles to 2 sine x cos x. Cos 2x can be further expanded using its double angle formula to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. We choose this formula for cos 2x as we are trying to express everything in terms of sine x. Replace sine 2x and cos 2x with these compound angle formula. Simplifying, we get 2 sine x times cos squared x plus sine x minus 2 sine cubed x. Rewrite cos squared x using squared identities as 1 minus sine squared x, and now we have 2 sine x times, in brackets, 1 minus sine squared x as the first term, plus sine x minus 2 sine cubed x. This gives us 2 sine x minus 2 sine cubed x, plus sine x minus 2 sine cubed x, which is equal to 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. Hence, sine 3x has been expressed in terms of sine x only, as 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x.